cold stepper, I slide with Berettas 50 and OB, the pack made weather I'm the trendsetter that get your bitch wetter I'm getting cheese, no cheddar I'm the greatest, nobody better I got the diamonds, look how they glitch She not my bitch, why she geek for a kiss? Niggas, they hating, they be on my dick Lock and low, pop off the Glock Body gon' fold, watch how it drop It's about that time Yo, what up, Bump Gang? It's Trey, aka Bump, and you watching Bump TV, you dig? Know what I'm saying, man? I know y'all dig that intro, you know? That intro tough, man. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with the intro, But you know, I'm still working on these things for y'all. You know, whenever I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I'm not dropping a video, just know I'm working on something. Like, I got something planned for y'all. I never go past two weeks. I always get y'all a video within a week, like, always. I was sick, like, two days ago, so it's like, I kind of like. Stop for a second, do what I'm doing, kind of recuperate. Now I'm back, I'm ready to give y'all a video. Now, I don't usually do story times, you know what I'm saying? But this one wasn't really recommended, but I was gonna give y'all the first time I ate. You know what I'm saying? But it never happened. It just like, I don't even know. The story, I told the story like a million times, so it was like, I don't even feel like telling it no more. So I'm thinking like, what other story time do I have? Cause I don't really have stories. I don't, I don't have a lot of stories. And I figure, why not tell y'all the monumental moment for Bump? The monumental moment of Trayvon Bump is his life. Now, before I tell y'all when this happened, do not bake me in the comment section because I feel it coming already. I feel like y'all ready to show me no mercy. I feel like y'all ready to be surprised too, females. Like the dudes that be around me, they already know what the deal is like. They already know I don't be doing nothing. I don't be doing nothing for good, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna be telling y'all how I lost my V card. So before we get into the video, man, make sure y'all bump the lights up, bump the subscribe button up, and make sure to spam that bell button, cause I don't think y'all be getting notified when I drop a video. I need y'all. This man Chuck really probably gonna do the video. But like I was saying, I know y'all don't be getting notified for real. That's because y'all don't ring the bell. Ring that bell so you can know when bump drop a banger. But let's go ahead and jump into this story time. You yeah. did. So once upon a time. Bump was introduced to sex. So back in my junior year, you know what I'm saying? See, I was always the kid that like didn't really focus on that. Like I used to like, I used to like play the game and stuff like that. I used to just chill. Like I used to be a cool kid. So I really never focused on that. Like people used to always talk about like in middle school, that's when I all started. Like eighth grade year, eighth grade year. Kids now, they, they know too much. Like they in the sixth grade talking about throwing them. No, they go crazy, but like us, like we was, we won't really like that until like our eighth grade year, some our seventh. So basically, I didn't really know nothing about it. So come my junior year of high school, I finally got introduced to it. Now I had multiple chances in the past, like ninth, tenth, but I just never sealed the deal. I never got close to it. I never did nothing. So I'm just a walking virgin, you know what I'm saying? So basically, I had a girlfriend, and we were together for a while, you know what I'm saying? So then one day, we just decided to link up at my boy crib, you know, get stuff cracking. Now, the first time we linked, we ain't do nothing, though. Well, I, I didn't do anything, because I kind of kind of gave away the, the condom. Like, I had a condom on me, but I gave it to my my friend, you know what I'm saying? And he did his thing, and I'm just sitting downstairs, like, like what the like what am I gonna do now? Like I even thought about putting in but I don't need young and something told me don't do it. Like I'm not trying to have kids yet. I'm an unexperienced so I'm not ready to go in it without that with no experience. That was the first time I ate the cat. That was the story time I was gonna tell y'all. Long story short, it stunk. <clears throat> to this day this girl doesn't even know, like she doesn't even know it stunk, but like yeah, it it smelled bad. Like I didn't think it had that smell. Like that's that that smell really killed me. Like they made me never want to do nothing with no girl ever again. Like I was like no. Like anytime a girl ever says something about eating, I was like no. Like because I'm thinking it smelled like finding Nemo in that joint every time I go in it. The long story short, I did it. I didn't like it. We ended up linking again though. So this time they come over and then bada boom bada bing we get to it again. Both of us prepared and we ready to go. But being the virgin that I was. I couldn't seal the deal. Now what I mean by that is, basically I ejaculated too quick. Fucking loser. Like I didn't even have it in, like it just, it just happened before it even happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just did it on myself, like in my, in my shorts, like, I just did it on myself. So basically I buzzed way too quick before I even put it in, like before I even put it in, like. So she didn't know about that either, I just kept it on the low. So basically I tried to get it back up and 
it wasn't really working. Like I went upstairs, I tried everything. I even got on the hub, like I got on the hub trying to get back up and it just would not get up. So at one point I was like, bro, I need to lose it. So let's go ahead and try it. So I tried to stick my little PP in her little hole and whatever and it went in halfway. And then that was it. Yeah, I didn't even struggle or nothing, like, it was just, that was it, I took it out. I don't even know why I took it out to this day, I don't know. But I took it out and then, basically, that was it. So that's how I almost lost my virginity. Yeah, the story sucks, man. The story sucks. My friends laugh at me to this day about it. So let's skip to the good part. So that happened at the end of my junior year. So you would think I lost it in the 12th grade, but I didn't even lose it in the 12th grade. I lost my virginity when I was 18. I am 18. What? Now to some of y'all, like the females is gonna shock y'all like, what? Some girls would tell me like, you look like you got nah, Like you seen the body count video, like they saying 10, 11, nine. no. I get no cheeks. I am a loser. I don't do none of that. He ain't lying. But most of the time I just stay to myself. Or sometimes I just don't get nothing. It just doesn't go my way. Now there's been plenty of times I could have did it. But I could never seal the deal. Or something would always come up at the wrong freaking time. So let me go ahead and tell y'all what happened. Now I'm not going to say no names. So we're going to call this girl Daisy. So me and Daisy used to talk a long time ago. Me and Daisy used to talk when I was like a junior, you know what I'm saying? We used to talk all the time, we used to talk. And like, she was always a freak, like, she was a freak, like, but you know when a girl texts you that freaky stuff, but like, you don't know if she really own it or not, and you just think she just bullshit. So basically, I can never get the chance to hit her, so I'm thinking, man, this is bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So I, I quit talking to her. I won't try to get in a relationship with her, because I don't even do relationships, so I just want to do that. She was playing, so I cut her off. So I used to always just see her on the ground. Like, I used to always be like, damn, I wish I would have hit that. Like, she hurt, hurt, hurt. Man, that joint, bro. I'm talking about grip, like. So come, like, December of last year, 2018, it's like the end of the year, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's winter time. And you know, Christmas and stuff. So people having Christmas parties or whatnot, you know, whatever. They have a Christmas parties and they get turned for Christmas and the New Year's and all that. So I guess one day, I don't even know how, we just ended up talking again. I think we were snapping each other and then we were just talking about how like we need to link. We never linked yet. And she would keep hitting me with the, oh, I'm busy. Oh, I got work. Oh, my mom here. Like she keep making excuses. So eventually I was like, man, I'm ready to stop. Like I'm ready to stop trying. It's never gonna happen. Let me just cut it. Let me cut it short. So one day she had to post something on Snap. I don't know what it was. It was probably her ass. So she posted something on the Snap and I just had to say something. So I gave it one more shot. So I hit her up and I think I was like, yo, you free tonight? And shockingly, she said yeah. She said her dude was going out to some Christmas party or whatever. So I'm like, oh, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Now, usually, when the girls say we gonna leave me, even my guys know it never ever happens. Like if we link, nothing happens. Like we probably kiss and that's it. You never get your hopes up. But with this girl, like she, it was built up. You ever had like built up sex? Like you know, like it's built up. Like you, you, you wanna do it. Like y'all been planning on doing it. And y'all finally do it, it was like that. So I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, bro, I know I'm gonna hit her. Like, my guys tell me, Never, you know, every time you say you get something, you never get nothing. Which is true. So, you know, I had, I had a good heart, you know what I'm saying? I had a good mindset. I'm like, look, I'm gonna lose it today if it's the last thing I do. She like said through later on when her dukes leave. So I'm like, all right, bet. So she said she gonna text me when, when her dukes leave. So, I'm waiting on the text for like hours, you know what I'm saying? Ah, right, I boosted. It was like an hour, but it was it was hours to me. Like the anticipation was just real. Like I was just ready to just do it and get it over with. So I think I hit her up and was like, yo, what's going on? Like, and then she texted me and was like, oh, my dude's been love. And I'm like, what? 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 Bro, you could have said that like an hour or 30 minutes ago. Like we wasted time. Like we like we wasting time. Like what is you on? Like I had to switch to cause my watch right here, so I had you know, I said wasting time. You get it. So anyway, I'm like, all right, pet, I'm ready to come over there. Now, at this time, won't nobody whip it. I still don't even have my stuff yet, you know what I'm saying? I'm working on that now. I, I, I don't drive yet. So none of my friends had wheels, and the only thing I had left was Lyft. So I call up a Lyft, you know what I'm saying? I, I catch Lyfts and stuff to work sometimes. I call up a Lyft. When I say, if I Lyft to work, it takes me like two minutes to get to work. But the one time when Bump ready to lose his virginity, 
the lift want to take all day. Now this is what I mean. I call a lift like immediately when she said that text. I call a lift and tell me why they found me a ride 13 minutes away from where I live at. Bro, I was all the way downtown. Like, what are you doing downtown? You party? It's supposed to be working. Lifts, lifts are consistent. They are nearby. They are fast. They're quick and easy. Boom. So he all the way downtown party and she at the club. And I'm trying to give me some ass. I'm like, yo. I even called, bro. I'm like, yo, bro, where you at? It's been like 20 minutes. Like, I, I really got somewhere to go. Like, what's going on? Yes, sir. I'm downtown right now. Um, I understand you downtown. I don't even know why you downtown, but like, I I need to I need to make this move. Like, I gotta get down there fast. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm trying to get there as quick as I can. But right now I'm in the club and this bitch is turned all the way the fuck up. Well, you're not getting here quick enough. Like, bro, you need to move your ass. So after that, they kept switching my left driver, kept switching it, and then eventually, you know what I'm saying. The lift finally gets here. Now, when the lift gets here, I'm on the phone with my nigga. Like, I'm telling him, like, I'm ready to get something. Like, you know when you don't get, you, you if you a virgin, if you was a virgin like me, you know what I'm saying? You don't get that. It's a monumental moment. So I'm on the phone. He like, bro, you got to do it. You got to do it for the gang, bump. You don't get no ass. Like, so me, I got to avenge for my gang. I got to get something for the guys. All right, keep it real. We be joking with Markel, but Markel, had more, Markel was doing more stuff than me, you know what I'm saying? Which is sad, because he doesn't even get nothing. Period now like so I had to, it was about that time bro I had to swipe the card so I hop in the lift you know what I'm saying I immediately tell him you true true story I get in the lift I said yo I got some ass that I was supposed to be getting can we get there like within like five minutes he like bro I got you when I said this man did the dash to her house bro he did the dash you know what I'm saying I even tipped this man after I was like bro I gotta get this man a nice tip because I got there with it no time you know what I'm saying he was whipping that thing he was driving that boat you know what I'm saying he was driving that boat so he dropped me off I dap him up I'm like yo appreciate it he like yo finish the job even the lift driver knew like bro you gotta get you some ass so I get to the door, knock on the door, she open the door, right? When I say, now ladies, y'all cannot tell me y'all don't do this. When you know you ready to get some, y'all put on this outfit. It's basically, you call it the, the the sex outfit, you know what I'm saying? I had on my outfit, I already had it planned. I had on a jacket with no shirt on, some sweats, and some damn Jordans. What do you think that means? So I open the door, she got on all black, you know what I'm saying? She got on a jacket with the, with the black shorts, you know what I'm saying? Ass fat as hell, I was like... So I'm like, what's good? You know what I'm saying? I'm playing it cool, but in my head, I'm like, girl, do you not know I'm ready to give you the meanest pounding of your fucking. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to go crazy in her. Like, I was really trying to prove a point that night. So you know I'm saying? We go in the room, we chilling and stuff. And usually you go into a girl crib, you know what I'm saying? Or you do at your crib. And the first thing you do is turn on Netflix. I don't even think we had on Netflix. We didn't have on Netflix. We had a game. We was listening to music and we just vibing. But we just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Playing the game. And then eventually I'm like, bump. You know what you came here for. You could have played the game at the crib, but get don't get your ass off the fucking game. So I tell her like, like yo, like I don't even remember what I said. To be honest, like I just remember we were kicking it, and then we just started kissing. Like oh, we were play fighting. Know what I'm saying? But I know somebody said they gonna play fight with you. Like oh, when I see you, I'm gonna fight you. You know what I'm saying? You know what the fuck that mean, bro? So we play fighting and shit. I grab her by the throat, <laughs> guys. I'm about to throw, I'm telling you, easy access. You trying to get it on? Undertaker, they shit, like, choke slam me. Ch choke the shit out. So basically, I had it by the throat, and then I just went in for the kill, like, come on, man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? These lips go crazy. So then after that, you know what I'm saying? I'm kissing, and then I'm like, all right, it's time to make my move. So I think I was like, come on. Y'all ladies like when we do that. Y'all be acting like y'all like that when you don't do Come on. What you want? Y'all know y'all like that, bro. So then she was like, nah, I don't like what you mean. Nah, like what you mean? So basically she kept trying to say I was going to run and tell my friends, which I was. I mean, I was a virgin. Like, of course I'm going to tell my friends. I am hype. Like, they'll be hype for me. And we can all have a little party at my house. You know what I'm saying? With balloons and extravaganzas and shit so you know me being the great actor that i am you know what i'm saying i don't know how many oscars i won now you know what i'm saying i was like tell my friends what me tell my friend no are you serious why do you look at me as that like why do you why do you why do you think of that like of me like why would you think that of me 
Like, you should already know me. Like, you know I ain't going for that. Capping my ass off. I got a fat ass hat on my head. So I'm sitting there for like 20 minutes trying to tell her, like, I'm not going to tell my friends, which I am. So then I give her like 20 minutes later, she was like, okay. Because the subject soon changed. Like, they ended up with me talking about, I think, oh, no, you know, I don't want to get too in detail because this is YouTube. So she was like, I mean, I do it, but like, you're going to have to do something. I'm like, hold on, hold on. I started getting flashbacks like, bro, no, last time I did this, it did not go well. So me, being the Trayvon bump as I am, and being the virgin that I am, I do it. But with her, it didn't sink, you know what I'm saying? It was cool, it was all right, and yeah, I did it. So then, after I did, the girl tried to say she won't go do it. I'm like, hold on now. I know you ain't just make me do that, and you're not going, you're not going, throw me the like what? So I'm sitting there talking to her. She like, you're gonna tell your friends. I'm like, bro, if you say that one more time, I'ma slap this. Sh so eventually she was like, all right. So we you know what I'm saying. We hear that, all right. Like when you hear, like when you like, it's like in your head, like all right, like it's really about to happen. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm turned. Like you know what I'm talking. Y'all fellas know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. I tell you, pull down my shorts. You know what I'm saying. See me, I was turned. So you know what I'm saying. I lay back. You know what I'm saying. I'm pull down my shorts and show me. I'm like this, no, I'm like, like this. No. She just started going crazy. She, just, she started going retarded. Like, I fell in love with it. Like, it was to the point where I didn't want her to stop. Like, I wasn't even trying to hit no more. I was just like, but just keep going crazy. Like, so I'm saying, she stopped. And then I was just like, let me go crazy. Like, and then after that, I put the guard on. She took her stuff off. She sat on top. Pulled my card out. And then I. So I that then. I swipe down, but I'm not even saying a lot of y'all, but don't call me gay either, but when I'm doing it, while we doing it, bro, I look up to the sky and I'm just like, wait till I tell you, that's what you do when you a virgin, though, you be so hype, like, you be so happy, but wait till I tell you, niggas, bro, like, I was so happy, you know what I'm saying, but with me, you know what I'm saying, it's never like, nothing's never gonna happen, like, it was too good to be true, but basically, I'm doing my thing, and then, she has dogs, you know what I'm saying? So the dogs start barking like and we just looking like and she like you gotta hide like I'm like hide I don't like playing hide and go see no I'm too old for that she tell me get up and she puts me she was I was ready to go in the closet you know what I'm saying but she was like get out the window the window I'm like the win uh, the what huh the who who where you want me to do what so she like you gotta get out the window you gotta get out somehow so tell me why she cuts the lights off I get to the window I'm ready to get out myself I was going like kind of like get out slowly I, I bent over for one second she pushes me out the window i do a whole front flip i'm not gonna lie i put this on my life i do a whole front flip somersault jeff hardy swan time bomb out the fucking window so i'm pissed off i'm like i'm not getting i'm like all right what the fuck i'm hurting this shit. i'm like what the fuck so i get up and then yeah so i'm good i'm like i got my phone and i'm straight so i'm like all right so i had to double back for a second because i forgot my key my wallet my my wallet had everything in it, like, my whole life was in that wallet, you know what I'm saying? So I go back, and then her mom opens the door, she opens her room door, and then she turns back, they talk, she like, why is your window open? And I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to dip. I don't know how, but, you know, me as a parent, I would go to that window, you know what I'm saying? She didn't even go to the window, she just closed the door and that was it. So she hands me my stuff, and she was like, she'll hit me up later, and I'm like, alright. So I take my stuff and I'm dipping, I'm running. So you would think the first people I call was the lips so I can get home. Nah, I swear to God, like as soon as I passed the block, I called the guys, you know, group face out. I got on that bit. I was like, yo, bro. They're like, what, what happened, bro? I'm like, bro, I'm so mad. You know what I'm saying? We turn, like, we look like straight losers. Like, well, I look like a loser, you know what I'm saying? That's what happens, bro. That's your first time, me. Why not? So they turn for me, you know what I'm saying? We hype. You know what I'm They're like, bro, you finally got some. It's like, it's been a long time. Coming with your dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? So I made it to a nice stop, called me a lift, went home. You know what I'm saying? I fucked my jacket up in the process of me falling out the window. You know, it was all good. Staying off now. You know what I'm saying? That was it, bro. That was it. I felt good as hell after it, too. Like, I never, like, like it felt so good. Like, it felt good after it. Like, I felt loose. So then we was texting afterwards, you know what I'm saying? And it made me feel good, like, cause she would hit me up like, you went crazy. Talking about her lasers hurting and all that. I'm like, whoa, my first time I did that. Ooh, I'm laying it down like that, bro. I was turned, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. That's the story of how Bump TV lost his virginity. There y'all have it.
Um, yeah, there ain't nothing much else to say, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want to see more story times, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure y'all share this to y'all friends and go ahead and talk y'all shit. Be like, man, this nigga don't get no ass. Y'all really play at me for this, bro. It's like now, though, I go crazy, though. I be, I be going crazy now. Like, I do my thing now. But yeah, make sure y'all bump the likes and bump the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? We going crazy all this year, man. Take over, not go stop, you know what I'm saying? We on that road to 1K, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want that. You know what I'm saying? I want more than that. But we going to get there, you know what I'm saying? For the people that show love, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying? We gonna keep going crazy, man. I'm gonna keep giving y'all bangers, and we not gonna stop no time soon. And coming up, you know what I'm saying? It's Beach Week, and y'all know I'm a lot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm a lot. I got like two public interviews I'm gonna do. I know for sure I'm gonna do a vlog, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be down there for like three nights. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go crazy all in three days, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? That's it, man. It's Bone. You watching Bone TV. Yeah. Me and gang in the back with our feet up Two bitches on our laps and the readers One fancy that chick like a cheater She think I'm her man, I don't need her Me and gang in the back with our feet up Two bitches on our laps and the readers One fancy that chick like a cheater She think I'm her man, I don't need her oh. You ain't no shooter You ain't no killer